Hello, everyone. This is Alex from Taken for Work. Welcome to my channel. And uh, right now, there's a lot of, uh, of high-rise buildings and bridges are in planning uh, from all over the world. Uh, as I said, Taken for Work is uh, worldwide and uh, facing to the world market. So I'll bring you one of our solution, uh, Taken Self Climbing Formwork. Uh, by different load capacity, we got uh, two main type. One is uh, TSC80, and uh, the other one is TSC120. Uh, also, by different uh, frame type, we got three, sta three type. One is a standard one, we call it uh, diagonal bracing part type. And uh, uh, also, we have our uh, uh, gallows type, which is uh, formwork is uh, stick to the bracket. And uh, the final is uh, retractable gallows type. Uh, which means uh, the formwork uh, uh, handling part is uh, independent from the main bracket. And uh, from the below to the up, I will introduce uh, the three main parts. Uh, one, one is the bracket itself, and the two is our anchor system and uh, hungering system. Uh, the third part is uh, the formwork part. So now we go to the, the bottom uh, platform. We call it a re repair platform. Uh, which uh, for uh, remove the uh, anchor system because, because uh, after uh, casting the anchor system can be removed from the uh, current wall like uh, climbing cone uh, removed to the concrete uh, surface and uh, uh, we can do the repairment uh, like uh, to do the plaster of the uh, surface this one got uh, like a lot of capacity is uh, 0 0.75 uh, kilonewton per square meter and uh, the weight is, is uh, 0 0.5 uh, meter. So uh, it's not required so, so much a lot of capacity. So this is the lightest one. The second platform, uh, we call it uh, the operation platform, which uh, because it's a self climbing system, so it has its own lifting uh, mechanism. So this platform will do the handling uh, operations uh, for the workers. Uh, and this, uh, the widest of the platform is uh, 2.7, and uh, the load capacity is uh, one kilonewton per square meter, which is uh, have uh, enough space for the workers to do the uh, operation jobs. And uh, the third platform, we call it, we call it the uh, main platform, which uh, is uh, always used for the formal closing, formal release, and also to do. Uh, like uh, other maintenance jobs for the the concrete, so uh, but it's it's got the same lot of capacity and wireless with, with the operation platform, and uh, this platform uh, we call it a uh, formwork platform. And always to have to install and to release uh, uh, the tyro system for the formwork, so it's also necessary to do the operation make the. Uh, workers uh, to handling the four jobs very efficiently. Uh, finally, this is uh, the upper one. We call it uh, upper platform, uh, very obviously, uh, which is uh, main function is to do the casting jobs and also uh, it will be uh, load some rebars to easier workers to do the rebar jobs. Uh, so this is uh, for the bracket part. The next part I will uh, introduce you is uh, the hungering or anchoring system here. Please come closely. The uh, an first is the anchor system. You can see here is a bolt here. Uh, they got both sides. And uh, this is just a little part of the anchor system. They'll be like invading the parts inside the concrete. It cannot be shown here. But uh, this part will be anchored to, we call it anchor shore. Anchor shore and have uh, like uh, the bearing pins here and also safety pins. To, this one is uh, in the real uh, construction site so will be to uh, do the safety jobs, uh, also security jobs to uh, re re resist the main uh, bracket fall from the, uh, the concrete surface. And uh, this one, we call it uh, hungering poke head, and, uh, which is for transfer the load of capacity from the bracket to the anchor shore. And uh, uh, this, this part of the self one, uh, close to the concrete site, we call it uh, guard rail. It's for also, uh, it cooperates with this uh, lifting mechanism to do the uh, lifting of uh, the main bracket itself. 
and the guard rings uh, alternately. Uh, it will be climbing uh, floor by floor, uh, and this part uh, supports the, the, the main functions. Okay, the next part I'll bring you, introduce you is our formal parts. Uh, as I just said, it is it, it independent from the main bracket. So, a uh, formwork will cooperate with this, we call it the retracting part, to do the uh, closing and uh, release jobs of formwork. And uh, you can see, uh, we actually we got uh, two types. One is here, we are in, on the mode, is our base 20 formwork, which is a tr traditional timber beam and plywood system. And uh, it, uh, because it will cooperate with the main bracket, uh, the bracket will be installed units by units on the structure. So formwork also do that job, uh, units by units. So it will be uh, like uh, uh, release some uh, labor cost on the assemble of the uh, platform and also to the, like repeat install and uh, uh, release jobs. Uh, and uh, for the retracting part, they have this this part we call it a reel and also they have all the gears to do the retracting jobs. And uh, here we can see it's uh, two diagonals. Uh, the outside is to uh, adjust, adjust the clint of the, for, uh, the main bracket because in some structure there will be a clint on the main, main structure so we have to do uh, the adjustment accordingly. And uh, the inside the diagonal with diagonal bracing uh, is the main purpose is uh, like other uh, side jig is to uh, adjust the vertical of the former uh, and uh, for easier for the uh, adjusting because the, uh, on the mode is also here it's very easy to do the adjustment but on the real construction jobs you have to do some uh, handles to do that job so that's all for the model part on the next part I will uh, I will take you to the real uh, bracket uh, because we got the real bracket here. I will introduce the real bracket to to, do, to see more details of this system. Okay, as I just said, I will bring you to see the real things here. Uh, we got uh, a real sample here, uh, about five to six years. Uh, you can see it's uh, got a little rust, a uh, dust on side, but uh, it's a real things. So uh, I will show you some details on the platform. Okay guys, I will come to the next floor to bring you more details. Uh, right now I'm using is a later, it's a very basic one, but uh, depends on the requirements of your on-site, we can supply you like uh, stairs, which have uh, hand rails, uh, and easier for the workers to do the climbing jobs. Okay, uh, here you can see this part, uh, we call it a protection handrail, uh, which will be, <coughs> there's a door here, it's released from the so you can see the real uh, things on the site. You see, there will be a, like a, a little door here and a little pin. Uh, it will be close to this, uh, like uh, inside outside uh, uh, holes, uh, to ensure the security of the workers. Because some works, you, when you do work jobs, you have to do like backwards workers, and this handrail will protect the works very well. And uh, the other thing for this platform I want to bring you is that uh, the lifting part. We already see on the, uh, on the modes uh, downstairs, but here you can see very closely about the uh, mechanism works. Here we got is a uh, guide rail. And uh, this is the main part for the uh, climbing mechanism, very, very long from upper to the uh, below. And uh, this is a... Uh, hydraulic cylinder, which uh, su supply, as I said, you will cooperate with uh, the motor, uh, the oil bucket, uh, to do hold the uh, supply the whole uh, hydraulic power uh, from for the whole uh, system to do the lifting jobs. And uh, here, uh, you, you're seeing is uh, a diagonal bracing. You can see this tube here, in the real construction job, there will be a handle to do the, uh, the adjusting jobs here. Here we see the anchor shoe there. They are, they are uh, connect to the bearing bolts on there. You, oh, we already see in the mode here. So this, see is the real size on the real project. And uh, this is a hangering uh, hook head, uh, which is uh, transfer the bearing capacity 
from uh, the anchor shore to the bracket. And on the connection part, you can see a bearing pin there, and also the safety pin, uh, but a little different with the demo because this is a real uh, components. And uh, here we come to the below. You can see the uh, wall touch the support, which, uh, as I just said, it will be to ensure to do the adjustment to, to ensure the bracket is uh, uh, vertical to the uh, structure. And uh, the final part, you can see here. This is a uh, uh, end protection. Uh, with, same with the other outer protection, but this is especially for the. Uh, when the uh, units go to the very edge, uh, this protection will be to like uh, from the uh, edge, uh, from people to falling down. And uh, uh, on the next part, uh, one of our workers engineer will do the operation jobs to show you uh, how the cylinder works and how to do the lifting jobs. Okay, here we see is the control box for the whole climbing system. Uh, I will tell you the uh, function of each components and uh, how to use them. Uh, from the right to left, uh, the green button that means the main start. So, the, for start the whole system. And the red button is for the main stop. Uh, is for start the whole system once you press this button. Uh, especially when the yellow light on, you have to uh, press this button immediately to stop the whole system. Uh, power and uh, the red light um, on means uh, this box has power to control the whole units and uh, the unit control uh, switch here uh, you, now you see is uh, four four units but uh, depends on different system we we can customize it uh, to like the uh, 16th switches or uh, even more and. Uh, uh, I will tell you how to use them. Uh, first, if you want to lift the, the whole system, you can switch all the unit switch on and uh, to press the main button here to control the, make the whole system to lift up. And if there is uh, some bracket units do not on the right position, you can press this uh, uh, main start on and control each unit to do the specific adjustment on the bracket so uh, to until to make the whole uh, system on the right position okay now on here is uh, turn the lifter bracket uh, uh, control units on so you can see the cylinder is now moving uh, many customers are curious about the uh, climbing speed over the this lifting system, uh, it's normally it's uh, uh, a half an hour. We are climbing at three meters, so half an hour per uh, store will be enough. And please notice that uh, when you do the uh, lifting jobs, you have to ensure all the uh, platforms uh, uh, staff have already be cleaned, so there will be no staff. Oh, especially notice there's no staff which uh, already extend to the inside of the uh, structure. And, uh, uh, and also, uh, when you finish the climbing, you have to make sure the security pin already uh, stick inside to, uh, in, in case that whole bracket will fall, follow down. And uh, uh, this control box also needed to care about the water, especially you know, you have to do the maintenance for the uh, concrete each side to uh, uh, spraying some waters on the surface. So you must be noticed not to uh, spray any waters on this control box. There is also notice about uh, some points before we end this today's uh, introduce. Uh, first, when you uh, finish the first unit assemble, you have to make sure all the bolts is tightened and uh, the the space of these two brackets, you have to make sure this space is uh, exactly with the uh, distance of the uh, anchor system on the wall because uh, we, ha we will give like a sharp drawing for uh, instruction for you to 
uh, locate the position of the anchor system. But sometimes after casting, there will be some uh, difference, or you can, can call it a tolerance of the position. So before you do the uh, assemble, you have to notice about the distance of the uh, anchor system. And for the other parts, uh, as I said, this system is a, a sample for uh, assemble and workers, but also need the trainings. So uh, earth uh, taking will always on your side. We will supply you the primary solu solutions, primary solutions, and the shop drawing. And we also give you like uh, to, like instruction steps over for your for for, for you to follow each steps, and uh, also. Uh, if if you need, we can send our after sales engineer for the on-site training or supervision. Uh, and uh, the most importantly, uh, when you finish this uh, project, uh, our engineering team also can help you to reuse the old material to the new project, and we help you do the uh, calculation again and to uh, like uh, to do the maximum uh, uh, recycle issue. Uh, to the next uh, uh, project. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like our contents, like our homework, or want to know more details, uh, please uh, subscribe us and also uh, press the like button below. Also, uh, if you know more, want to know more details, you can contact us by the info at takenform.com. And uh, see you next time. Thank you very much.